It's the Fox and it's Rob. Yeah, and prepare for not your typical type of Fox. Definitely a more campy Fox. That's what more I'm trying to say. More patient play. And not known no, to just go in head first. Yo, Gabe is just running the program. He don't even have Aklo in his sights. I mean, you you called it first. We ought to be seeing at least one Rob Zero to death in the, uh, this set, and yeah. PS2 is the prime setting for such to happen. Okay, yeah, that's just not a true combo. So, nice. We got out and great recovery. People say like Fox is really linear, but he has a lot of mix-ups on how to get back to stage, and these Fox players know how to get back. All right, player four, tell me a story. What the hell did I just watch? Oh, what do you mean? It, he lifted himself with forward air to adjust his yeah. recovery? Okay. Yeah, so... For, so, okay, I'll, before he loses his stock. Ooh, so not forward, air, forward air allows you to rise with with Fox, and um, up B is really strong, and it could challenge a lot of moves if they try to edge guard. He's going to make that magnet hands, and there it takes the first thing. Okay. Fox being a really like character, just gonna die off the top right there. I'm given that he was at 153 after the hit, like I definitely see him going down, especially while Gabe's got quite a bit of rage behind him himself. Although it's interesting to see how much damage is built up from both of these players, despite neither of them really committing to anything, it's just been trades back and forth. Yeah. And these guys were former GameStop employees, man. <laughs> With these types of <laughs> I missed I, that might, one. might even have a few stops. <laughs> but yeah, Aklo taking that stock right there, and it, it is going back and forth. Yeah, this is more what I expected. One of them gets their opportunity to swing, and the other gets their opportunity to swing, but when it's off stage, it is dangerous, and the double commitment to the side B arm road are going to be taking the second stop just like that. Yeah. And that's what's so dangerous about Rob. He's just able to take stocks so early like that. And it's gonna be really dangerous for Aklo. Because I don't think he's fought a character like Rob as often. Ooh, excellent stall with a reflector. Yeah, but, but he's done. Oh, not just what yet. you would say. Now, there we go. Yeah. Uh, said a bit prematurely. That was like every little bit of fuel that Rob had to offer. That was actually amazing resource management for Epic Gabriel as he managed to clinch out game one. Yeah, and so right there, just going for the b killing blows. And you saw the wiggles right there. That helps Rob conserve a lot of fuel for those that don't know. And we're, I'm just gonna, happy to see what the counter pick is. I do know Aklo is known to like platform camp, but I'm not sure if Rob, Rob can be platform camp like that because he's fairly quick. Yeah, I was going to say, it's going to be a bit of a dangerous situation to pick into platforms, yeah. especially given that Rob just has a lot of opportunity for reversals off of plats. Yeah, so he might want a smaller stage. Um, I'm not sure how well it'll do for him, but I'm just trying to get in his head right now on what he would want. Maybe something smaller so he can box with this character, or maybe maybe get Town City so he can camp a bit more. He has to be very choosy about how he opts to camp because I feel like Rob has a better way of turning the tempo if yeah. they're like putting out the projectiles. Even though there's almost no commitment to the projectiles at hand from what Fox has to offer. Like, he could sit at a distance, he can give us the retreating nares, he can give us the lasers, and the damage is all well and good. But for an equal amount of commitment, or lack thereof, I feel like Rob is able to put a lot heavier numbers on the board, and off a potential hit, a possible conversion. Yeah. I agree with the sentiments right there. Someone has to change their stage. Aglo, the male player. <laughs> Mans is a bit far away from home. This ain't Slippy. Yeah. This is Ultimate Wi-Fi. It's 
It's a place where you don't want to be. With the, <laughs> <that code. laughs> These are dangerous parts. Uh, but the platform pick is exactly what you predicted. It is, in fact, in Battlefield. Let's see what we have to offer. Yeah, and Fox does thrive on Battlefield, able to discharge, but so does Rob. Yeah, we're, we're gonna see a lot more platform camping here. As you see him utilize the platform to get out of disadvantage like that. I feel like the escape option being available to them is going to be valuable depending on how heavily Aqua wants to play defensively. Yeah. Um, but as far as the combo potential, that I feel might lean ever so slightly into Aqua's favor depending on uh, how willing he is to press against Epic Game. Yeah, and again, he's sort of rising fair recovery. Oh, Aqua not able to get that. Oh, yeah. Great check. Alright, back off. Like, the and options that these guys are going for is actually, like, amazing. Like, say what you will about how many buttons a Rob has to press, but Gabe has been covering options superbly. And if not for the fact that Aklu has been playing out of disadvantage super well for that first stock, like, he would have been got like, very quickly. Nonetheless, yeah. Gabe manages to net the first stock. Relentless in his pressure. Oh, got caught with his jump. Oh, misses it. And this is why the trouble of playing Fox online, you're not able to react in certain situations as well. And that's just the nature of just playing online. There's a reason that we haven't seen a lot of Fox play. The offensive Foxfire? Okay. Yeah. Beats a lot of moves out, dang man. I like it. It's a very gutsy option. Oh. I think it's those little situations there that really goes to show like the value in Aqua's patience as a player, because Gabe is expecting these rash options, but an awkward angle is going to be putting Aqua in a position where he misses his tech. Yeah. Okay. And Aqua oh. returns the favor. Yeah, just up be straight at him. And again, you see the you see the zero the narratives of death. Yeah, Gabe is on the hunt. I think he recognizes that this is a dangerous opponent. He doesn't want to mess around any longer than he has to. He's got his stock lead, he's got gyro in hand. There's plenty of opportunity for him to end it right here and right now. But the little trades here and there keep on messing up that well. Yeah, it's just the predicament of like him just not being so familiar with what Gabe's timing is and it's just getting hit for it. Alright, nice get up attack. And he needs to finish the stock off now if he once has any semblance of like winning this game. He is fiending for this Naren to up smash. Yeah, and Rock. Gabe is trying to get that down tilt on him. 85% now. And yeah, this is not looking good. So, like, even if he gets the stock right here, he is bleeding out and up B. Bro, what's Not gonna take it right there. <laughs> Alright. Fox with Rage. Aklo's got the opportunity, but I feel like with one... One straight hit and Gabe takes this game. And the set. Alright, missing him right there. I like the drill. The option approaching with shield working up so well for Aklo right now. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Bits of damage on board. He's still struggling just to find any hit. Oh, no, that could be disastrous. But Gabe not able to turn a conversion from it. Yeah. Gabe just rolls out the situation. Would just raw Rob Nair kill at this point? Uh, probably all stage. Uh, also grab. Oh yeah, down throw, up smash, down throw, up air. Up regardless. air, just up, up throw, we'll kill. Oh yeah, that's right. The, I, I just realized the percentages are climbing to that point. Oh, oh 
Nice Almost tag. had it too, just like that. But Nair is not going to kill. Even though we're looking fairly fresh, it's just not enough. Opting for the high recovery, just like that. Akilo yeah. gets himself out of danger, but right back into it. Epic Gabriel's neutral air is going to take it from center stage. Almost losing grasp of game two, but not enough. Yeah. yeah. And it sucks, because... <laughs> <laughs> there were so many times Akilo could have got it. We definitely yeah. guessed the boy up. And Gabe just wasn't having any of it. Yeah. Um, you saw the big thing right there with Ultimate Thoughts Online. Right there when he did the up smash, but Rob teched it. It's just not, the ability that you just have to go for a read in those situations instead of a hard kill confirm on what you can react to. Yeah. Which is really hard to adjust to in these situations. I do hope when Offline comes back, Aiklo does play a bit more and goes to like these majors so you can see him at a full display and him at 100% but right now we saw we saw him do a bit of work here he did take Gabe to the last dock and kept it fairly even but Gabe being the competitor he is and a strong player was able to just persevere. In